New Star K20 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. Uh, we got a lot of information about the um, we got whistleblowers coming out uh, talking to Josh Hawley, Senator, about uh, from the Secret Service. And um, none of it is is good. Um, about the Secret Service, speaks very poorly about the Secret Service, okay? And um, I'll get you that in a second, as promised. Uh, but first, uh, Trump's, I promised to give you a few polls that are really, CBS, really, really good. CBS News just came out with this poll uh, today. Choice for president. This is, of course, uh, just after the convention, I suppose, this morning or something. Um it was done. No, no, it was done the 16th through the 18th. So uh, this is prior to the speech. Um, Trump has a five point lead prior to the speech over Biden in July. On July 3rd, just uh, about two weeks earlier, Trump had a two point lead. He nas- nationally jumped up from a two point lead to a five point lead in three weeks. Uh, second of all, it's the uh, the national lead is the it's been 20 years since the Republican presidential candidate won the national popular vote and over 30 years since the Republican won by more than five. Also, choice for president in the battlegrounds. Trump leads the battleground states totally, you know, the total of battleground states in CBS new poll by three points. Again, this is before his speech. OK, it's from like three days ago uh, up till the speech, I guess. Uh, Trump's handling of the assassination attempt makes you. 26% say more likely to consider Trump. 26% because he showed his cojones. Uh, after the assassination attempt, Trump has encouraged 54% say more unity. 54% more unity to 46. Will people uh, will fight a lot more for people like you? Okay, which one of the candidates will fight a lot more for people like you? Trump 37 has a nine point lead over Biden has a 11-point lead over Cackle and Kamala. Choice for president, likely voters. Cackle and Kamala is uh, behind Trump by three in a brand new poll. So Biden is uh, two points less than Cackle and Kamala. But is that a convincing reason to leave if you're Biden? No. It's not like a 10-point, you know what I mean, a five or 10-point uh, difference. Assassination attempt uh, against Trump. The Secret Service, 75%. Three out of four said they, they could have done more. Eight in 10 voters feel civility in U.S. politics has gotten worse in recent years. 83%. That's Joe Biden. Recent years is Joe Biden's term. That's what he's done. Not a threat to democracy. All right, Joe, thanks. Thanks, Joe. We're Satan. We got it. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, here's the uh, presidential election forecast by Nate Silver, uh, who is revered on the left and even in the in the in the right. Seventy four percent Trump has a chance, seventy four percent chance of winning to Biden's twenty six percent. That's a forty eight percent odds increase. Um Arizona, Trump by 5.3. North Carolina, 5.1. Trump up uh, in Georgia by 3.9. Nevada, 3.2. Pennsylvania, 2.5. Wisconsin, 1.8. Michigan, 0.7%. All Trump. Uh, Here's another one. Chance of winning of Trump versus Harris. She fares slightly better than Biden. It's uh, 62 to 41. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 62 to 21% in the Nate Silver's poll. So Trump has a 41 point lead over Kathleen Kamala as far as chances, you know, percentage, whatever chance to win. And Trump has a 48 point uh, lead as far as chances against Joe. Okay. Um, And then we have um, The Economist, a brand new poll uh, showing Trump would get 321 electoral votes over Biden's 217. That's a route. That's a straight flush, man. It's a route out, right? Uh, That's an 83 percent chance of Joe of uh, Trump winning is uh, The uh, the Economist. And um, I mean, it just it keeps going. So but this does not mean we're going to win. And if you think we're going to win, then we're going to lose. We cannot assume we're going to win. We must assume we're going to lose and fight hard. Now, uh, whistleblowers have told Josh Hawley of Missouri, Senator, that the majority of security for President Trump at his speech where he was uh, the attempted assassination happened uh, was the the majority of security was not Secret Service, not even Secret Service, quote unquote, not even Secret Service. He says, quote, whistleblowers who have direct knowledge of the event approached my office. Uh, the July 13th rally was considered to be a loose security event. For example, detection canines were not even used. Did no canines. 
No canines. Were not even used to detect, uh, monitor entry, detect threats in the usual manner. Individuals without proper designations were able to gain access to backstage area. Whistleblower allegations suggest the majority of DHS officials were not US, U.S. Secret Service, but instead drawn from the department's Homeland Security Investigations, HSI. They don't know how to protect the president. They're just extra security. But that's not that's not the Secret Service. He says Hawley wrote, this is especially concerning given that HSI agents were unfamiliar with standard protocols typically used at these types of events, according to the allegations. Ron Johnson, senator from Wisconsin, says the director of the Secret Service did admit there were mistakes and gaffes. Um, but um, anyway, this is this is. Um, yeah. And then Bill Malusian from Fox News. It's not two Secret Service agents. Supposedly, the event was staffed with 22 Secret Service agents, including advanced assault and sniper teams. Um, eight, 16 HSI agents. This is from a news federal law enforcement source to uh, Bill Maluge and Fox News. So 22 Secret Service, 16 HSI agents, and no, so, no Secret Service drones. And that is standard. No Secret Service drones, no dogs, and uh, uh, staffed by a lot of uh, people that don't do Secret Service. So this is the... Um, They did not request any tactical support from Homeland Security investigations beforehand, including HSI Elite Special Response Team. They were assigned to post-standing security duties at the street entrance and the media area, not responsible for close proximity around Trump or the buildings or the exterior. Malugin says, entire operational security plan was created and carried out by Secret Service, which told HSI and local law enforcement where they needed bodies and was responsible for the planning. Per the source, allegations HSI agents, Homeland Security agents, were uh, untrained or unprepared to provide security at this event, are way off base, adding HSI or highly trained federal law enforcement, blah, 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 blah. Um, A lot of finger pointing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically there was no drones. And guess what else? Wall Street Journal exclusively reporting today, this afternoon, that uh, the gunman I'm holding up the story for you on the Facebook live on Chris Crock show at Chris Crock show C-H-R-I-S-K-R okay Trump gunman flew drone over rally site hours before attempted assassination the Secret Service allowed the terrorist the, att- the, uh, the attempted assassinator to fly a drone hours before the rally to literally do dry runs on what he was going to do do you understand this this was a this was a, a, a one out of ten for security. You know what I'm saying? This is a freaking crap show. This woman ought to be fired. That cheetle, that clown. She's going to be speaking at ten o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Uh, excuse me, on Monday at testimony. We're going to cover that on Monday. You better believe it. Um, I got more on the shooter, but here's my questions for you. Do you believe the Secret Service phoned it in on the Butler PA rally, as I do? And do you think we're going to end up seeing a barely protected president in relative terms? I do. And do you think it's because of incompetence or intentionally giving less resources to Trump? Because you got to know that uh, Nurse Jill, a.k.a. not a Dr. Jill, and Cackle and Kamala were in the nearby areas draining resources. They're not running for president. They're not the president or or Trump. They're not running against each other. They should not have Secret Service detail out at public events when Trump or Biden is speaking. Should Biden's Secret Service tell Jill and Kamala they can't go out as much so Trump and Biden can do it instead of the two candidates? And do you believe Nurse Jill and Kamala got a lot more security than Trump, as I do? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227, 800-288-WBAP. And um, my church, uh, First Baptist Dallas, is still on fire, but the majority of the big stuff has been put out. My pastor, Dr. Robert Jefferson, and I were just texting a little while ago. He's listing. I appreciate Appreciate you, Dr. Jeffress. We all do, and we all appreciate your prayers. Also, breaking news is Sheila Jackson Lee, Congresswoman from, from Houston, dead at the age of 74 tonight. Rep. She- Sheila Jackson Lee is dead. All right, uh, that's the latest on that. We're going to take your call about uh, the uh, Trump assassination. Do you believe uh, that the Secret Service phoned it in on Butler PA rally? Do you think we're going to end up seeing a barely protected president? And do you think it's because of incompetence? or intentionally giving less resources to Trump? And should Biden's Secret Service tell Jill and Kamala they cannot go out as much so that Trump and Biden can? 
And do you believe Jill and Kamala got a lot more security than Trump? 800-288-WBAP. Lines wide open. Chime in right now. Chris Crock Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, and now on FM at 93.3. Also, the Secret Service had, quote, awful quick turnaround time in preparing this site. Wait till you hear what the first site was supposed to be, and they switched it at the last minute, and wait till you hear how little time they, the Secret Service did to put this together out in the field. It's shocking. Next. The Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. We're going to continue to be transparent uh, and communicate with people. Do you plan to stay on? Absolutely. I do plan to stay on. That's Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle. And uh, she's testifying Monday morning at 10. Uh, this woman is uh, a disgrace. She should be ashamed of herself and she should be fired. The more and more and more we find out, the more breathtaking and disgusting it is uh, that this, uh, I mean, th- this was a setup to kill President Trump. I'm not saying she meant to. I'm not saying the Secret Service meant to. But this, the pathetic, disgraceful third world protection of, jo- of uh, President Trump is a disgrace that, I mean, he can make you think that it was intentional. And I'm not saying it is, but it sure looks uh, disgusting, horrific, and pathetic. No dogs to sniff out the threats, which they do have and they usually use. No drones. In fact, we find out today exclusively from the Wall Street Journal that the shooter, the terrorist, was uh, flying his drone a couple hours before Trump came and showed up. The rally started. Flying his drone to do uh, dry runs and testing out and you know overlooking everything to see where he was so he could uh, kill the president. Hours before the attempted assassination, Wall Street Journal said, "How disgusting." Uh, also, the Secret Service had quote awful quick turnaround in preparing the Trump rally site. The organizer says. And by the way, it was supposed to be at the Butler Municipal Airport. They've had, Trump has had a rally there before and it went very well. But the airport had another event going on, so they couldn't uh, do that. So they decided to go to the the farm uh, grounds there, the farm show grounds. Uh, organizers for the Trump's campaign asked to use the site on July 3rd. Secret Service showed up to scan the area on July 8th. They waited five days. Quote, it seemed just like awful quick turnaround, uh, said uh, a man named Kelly Laughlin to the newspaper. Um, Who is Kelly Laughlin? Uh, It doesn't really say. Um, He might be somebody with the county, I guess, or the city. I don't know. Trump's rally was supposed to be held at Butler County Airport, as I mentioned. But the airport already booked for the July 13th uh, Fire Company's annual mega cruise car show. And um, so literally they had like five days. I think what was the date of the rally? Uh, Can you double check that for me? Was the 13th? It was Saturday. It had to be the 13th, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. It was the 13th. So do you understand the Secret Service was told they're going to do it on July 3rd and they didn't show up for five more days? Um, That's crazy. So they they had one, they had one, two, they were told the third, they had one, two, three, four, five more days they could have used to set it up. They didn't. Instead, they uh, showed up to scan it uh, on the 8th. Okay. Incredibly quick turnaround is what one person says in, in this uh, thing. And XCI, uh, by the way, my questions for you are, do you believe the Secret Service phoned it in on this Butler PA rally that almost got President Trump killed? And do you think we're going to end up seeing a barely protected president as I do? And do you think it's because of incompetence or intentionally giving less resources to Trump? And I wouldn't be surprised if, like, screw Trump, Nurse Jill and Cackling Kamala are more important, I swear to you. We're going to find that out, aren't we? How many Secret Service agents were dispatched for them? And if you don't have enough people in the field, you say no to Kamala and you say no to Nurse Jill. What the heck? They're not, they're not the presidential candidates. There's two people running, and they're not two people running. 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Do you believe Jill uh, and Kamala uh, got a lot more security than Trump? I, I will I will not be surprised. I, I, I will actually be surprised if it's if they didn't get more security than Trump. And do you think Biden's service, Secret Service, 
Um, should Biden's Secret Service tell Jill and Kamala they can't go out when uh, when there's a Trump event getting in the way? Uh, they've got to be. They can't be going out when Trump and Biden are going out. They can't. They have to let the two candidates go, and those two can sit at home and go sit on their rumps. And do you think it's because of incompetence that this happened or intentionally giving less resources to Trump? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Michael in Colleen. Uh, hi, WBAP. Hey. Good evening, Crocs. Even. Uh, I definitely think that, I don't know that it was planned, but I, they definitely left the barn door open to have the opportunity to have right. it happen. I mean, uh, things related to all this. First off, they, that, was, that was a Guinness World Record processing of DNA. And when they plugged them into the system, I'm making a uh, <laughs> pardon me. I was telling James about this the other day. I said they had enough DNA they could have wrung him out like a dish rack and gotten everything that they wanted off. Wait, of what do you mean and DNA? They, oh, they, they were they were standing on that. We positively identified the shooter via DNA. Like, uh, well, how do you do that if he wasn't already in the system? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know I don't have the that. answer either, but it's it's worth asking. I mean, when you're trying to kill the president, pro- I mean, if anybody can get this stepped up quite quickly, it's when you try oh, to kill yeah, the president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they put in an express order and everything, the whole system comes to a stop. The FBI, li- the FBI crime labs are incredible, is what I've been told. Uh, and they would get that to them immediately and have them do it immediately, is my guess. Well, how long does it take to process a standard crime scene? I'm uh, just saying there's, there's a lot of, <laughs> I'm just saying that yeah. there's, a, a lot of things after the fact happen. Sure, sure, fast. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, with the answer, you know, as to what they're going to do with Biden, uh, I think we're at the point he's lost Hollywood. Uh, they started out with mid-level. Can I can I put you on hold? I don't want to rush you. Yeah. Can, okay, thanks. No, I apologize. I okay, yeah, yeah. Stand by, Michael. I want your full theory coming up next, plus your thoughts at 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. To the Secret Service phone it in on the Butler PA rally, as I th- certainly think. Do you think they ended up uh, barely protecting the president from what they should have done? And was it incompetence or intentionally giving less resources to Trump? And uh, do you believe uh, Jill and Keckle and Kamala got uh, more security, a lot more than Trump did? And don't don't you think they should tell uh, Kamala and Nurse Jill that they got to stay home so that Joe and Trump can get the Secret Service they need if they don't have enough? I do. 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. Guess, uh, guess what else? We know when the shooter, sh- the shooter signed up to attend the rally, the Trump rally. It's a lot earlier than you might think. Next. News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. I'm sad. My church, uh, our historic sanctuary at First Baptist Dallas downtown, um, on the other side of downtown from us, is... uh, it looks like it's, uh, from my understand, the historic sanctuary, which is that uh, 100-plus-year-old church. The roof collapsed, I guess, fully. Uh, it partially collapsed after 7.30, Dallas Morning News says within the next hour, more than 60 units, firefighter units, were responding to the fire. One point, firefighter stood atop a fully extended ladder hovering over the church's cascading fountain, beautiful fountain, that we have, uh, Jeffers Fountain, as smoke blanketed the air. Um So it's very sad. Um, no, but Dr. Jeffers said that... Um, we as you as you we had through two, over two thousand children and volunteers on campus for vacation Bible school. It just ended yesterday, and then they, they broke out around six oh five is what uh, that was when crews were called. Um, my friend and our executive pastor Ben Lavorn was the last person to leave. We really don't have much info. Um, that's it, and we have no cause of it right now. Okay. Just pray for the church, pray for the firefighters because it's it's four alarm. That's as big as it's almost as big as it gets, period. It's uh it's it can be catastrophic when it's a four alarm. Okay. Uh, uh meantime, uh the uh assassination attempt of uh, Donald J. Trump is um beyond the pale. Uh we're learning that they uh, farmed out a lot of HSI agents, Homeland Security Investigations units, uh and had a lot less uh, secret service it appears than they were supposed to. Um 
And uh, Congress has denied access to the crucial Trump protection plan. Uh, uh, and um, one of the congressmen says it's cover your A-word mode. Congress denied access to the integral ops report that details protection plan for former President Trump's rally. Uh, a lawmaker says Paul Morrow, an attorney and retired NYPD inspector, says the ops report should detail who was supposed to cover the area of that roof that the terrorists fired from. If there was no ops plan done or if it didn't cover that rooftop, whoever signed off and it failed badly, he says. Um, I also heard today on Fox, a person on the roof was supposed to show up and didn't. That like somebody was supposed to show up and help, uh, you know, be a sniper or be on that roof and didn't. Called in or something. That's I heard that on Fox. Everything's still in flux, by the way, the facts. Um, quote, didn't show up is what they said. And then uh, the slope thing's a lie. There's pictures of uh, Secret Service standing on the sloped White House uh, roof today, yesterday. So the slope thing's a lie. It's all a lie. And Monday morning at 10 is when uh, the Secret Service head, Cheadle, will be going. Kimberly Cheadle will be going in front of Congress. And I hope that she resigns because that's what she needs to do. We also found out the terrorists used an encrypted email address and cell phone number to complete the sign up for the rally. He signed up July 6th to attend the rally. And only three days after Trump said the rally would be happening on July 13th, he signed up seven days in advance. Wall Street Journal tonight saying he flew his uh, drone, uh, programmed it and flew it to uh, a couple hours before the rally. Um, This was beyond the pale. There were no dogs to sniff out at Secret Service like they usually do. And there were no drones, but he had a drone. 800-288-WBAP. Three lines open. Chime in right now. 800-288-9227. Do you believe the Secret Service phoned it in on this Butler PA rally where Trump almost died? Do you think we're going to end up seeing a barely protected president in this? I do. And do you think it's because of incompetence or intentionally giving less resources to Trump? They, they hate him. Not everybody, but Kimberly Cheadle is a Biden appointee. He uh, protected uh, Biden when he was vice president. Uh, Nurse Jill handpicked her. A woman who knows nothing. And uh, the uh, sycophant for DEI, uh, one of Trump's top aides, or one of uh, um, uh, Joe Biden's top aides, Anthony Bernal and uh, Nurse Jill's bestie, uh, insisted on her being the head with the being DEI obsessed. And she said, I'm going to have 30 percent of uh, female agents for the Secret Service by 2030. That's what she cared about. She watched Rome burn while she hires women who are midgets compared to Trump standing there. It's, it's a disgrace. And you notice at the, at the RNC, there were no midget females at, uh, guarding Trump. There's no towering, there's no Amazon women in the, C, uh, the Secret Service that I'm aware of. They're midgets compared to Trump. I'm not saying they're midgets, I'm saying compared to Trump they are. They're two to three feet below his height. It's a disgrace, it's a joke, they can't even holster their weapons. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Remember that from the, from the microphone? All right. Uh, three lines open. 800-288-WBAP. Michael and Colleen, you're on WBAP. Thanks for listening. Yes, sir. Uh, before I go on, uh, sorry about your church. I hope uh, everybody... Uh, Nobody hurt. Uh, okay. Nobody okay. hurt, but okay. pray okay. for the okay. church to be spared can, and uh, pray for the firefighters yeah. to be safe. Go ahead. Yeah, you can replace planks, but you can't replace people. Right. So there's a plus to that. But I'm just saying they, they've ramped this up uh, with with Biden. First, it was like mid-level congressmen and congresswomen, you know, people, some some name recognition to test it, you know, after he lost Hollywood and the press. Then Pelosi came out and, well, she's on shaky ground. Oh, but you were telling me about the Secret herself. Service. We we're talking about that. I wanted to, you were, you were. Oh, yeah, well, I was going to end off with that. You were oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say what it comes down to is now the only interlock left is uh, the party and Obama's pretty much got control of that. And I think over this weekend, it's going to be kind of like when Arafat was on life support. Uh, they're going to say to, to Dr. Jill, uh, uh, Nurse what's, Jill? Price? what's it going to take? Yeah. They, they name your price. You know, they, they've got to buy her off. Yeah. And I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. But tell me I about the, you were in the middle of the assassination attempt. Go ahead. Okay. With that, I it just, I think the man, the man to listen to is obviously going to be Dan Bongino. I mean, what, what a stroke of luck. I mean, all these, people in the right place uh it just it it doesn't have the feel of a plan but they certainly left the barn door open you know we're, oh wow look at that didn't expect that to happen i mean there's just it like not that they were planning they were just hoping for somebody i mean and with this with this kid with his uh political affiliation they say he was registered uh republican but remember what limbaugh was saying later in his life 
do what the Democrats do, register in one party so that you can, you know, dumb down the candidates in the primary. So I think that's what he was on board with, uh, you know, to try to vote a weaker candidate in. Mm-hmm. And but- he, he did donate to, you know, he donated, you know, minimal money, but he did donate to left causes. So I, I appreciate that. your I call, Michael. They, they just allowed... They allowed the conditions to happen. I don't know that they engineered that's, it. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, it. They allowed the condition to happen. I, I'm not going to. It looks like they purposely let let him uh, hang to dry. Um, yeah, I mean, but I think it's their gross incompetence, and I don't think it's conspiratorial. It's one uh, 20 year old who was very smart. He had high honors uh, or whatever with uh, math when he graduated. He got math honors, so he's smart. And a smart kid with uh, being a loser, and nothing else to do, can plan out a lot of things. Um, and people don't want to believe that, but that's what I believe. Chris Christian in Dallas, you are on WBAP. What's up? Hi. Yep. First, uh, I want to say sorry about your uh, your church. Thank there. you. you know, we'll definitely be praying for you. Thank praying you. for your church about that, and uh, glad everybody's okay. Yeah. And we'll be praying for the firefighters. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that the uh, the detail that was assigned to Trump on this is definitely not the A team. Uh, I've been to five Trump rallies. Uh, I just spent the week with uh, in close proximity to the um, Secret Service up at the RNC, and um, the, the the team that was out there visibly in Pennsylvania clearly was not the A team. Uh, I think that they, he was intentionally given. They reportedly uh, were overworked, and they're doing seven days a week, and they're overworked, and they get and, uh, because of uh, Trump doing prolific rallies, which is fine. But that's yeah. it's Kimberly Cheadle's responsibility. There's only two people running this election, and she failed to protect yeah. one of them, and, and and the other one appointed her. So I mean, this looks uh, beyond the pale. But listen, that's why you don't do that. You don't do what Joe Biden does: hire his friends, because then this happens, and um, that's why he won't fire her too. Which is like, I want Trump to die. Let him get hit again. I don't. It's just I don't it makes no sense. But. Um, in this case, I've, ne- I've, I've never seen such a, an incompetent group of people out there, especially around Trump. And I think the point that those the, the physical size of the people who are assigned to protect him was was far. Smaller. There were three females that were midgets compared to him. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was one of the things that stood out immediately was why would you assign somebody who's of a lesser body size who physically can't cover I, I know why. the entire the entire protectee? And I think that that's intentional. I think the DEI thing is being pushed to the point where now it's, it's endangering people's yes. lives and it's cost. It's cost a, a, a firefighter his life up there in Pennsylvania. And now that that wife doesn't have her husband and that those daughters don't have their father. Right. And other people have been shot and injured and could have been killed. And, and president Trump was shot and was, you know, only by the grace of God spared. So I six think shots were people, fired. Six shots. The journal said today, six, the terrorists yeah, fired I, six shots. I, I think if you were to look at the standard of this, it would be criminal negligence. Uh, yes. I think it was intentional yes. and willful criminal negligence. I don't think it was intentional, but let me tell you this. I wanted to finish my thought on the, the, the they were working seven days a week and all this stuff. It's fine if Kimberly Cheadle uh, said, if these guys are like, hey, we're getting overworked. We can't do this. We literally don't have any time off for like, you know, four weeks in a row. We're going to be, we can't do our jobs, which is fair. And that's where Kimberly Cheadle would say, there's going to be two teams that protect Trump that are always protecting him and they're just as good as the other. One's as good as the other and they're constantly rotating and therefore they're always getting the A game and that's her responsibility and that's why she should be fired, fired for yeah, almost killing absolutely. our president. This woman's a disgrace. She's a disgrace. I appreciate you. I'm, I'm angry, but for obvious reasons. Yeah, and I, and I got to say that, you know what, there's a lot of great men and women working for the Secret Service. Like I said, I, ju- I just spent a great deal of time with them. I've also worked from, worked with them in the past. And, and there's a lot there's a lot of great individuals. There's a lot of great individuals who, who love Trump and quite literally would get in the way of any bullet for him. Uh, and, and I think that what was actually given to him was an intentional uh, – Low, low caliber team, the, the lowest that they could possibly find. And I think that they did that intentionally to endanger his life. I appreciate your call, and I thank you very much. Um, I want to get into this coming up next, too, on the Chris Croc Show. Uh, world leaders, I got so much to talk to you. We're just not going to have time this hour. I'll tell you what, um, we have world leaders. 
I'd chime in right now. We'll, we'll get right to your calls, and I'll get into the uh, evidentia thereof. How do you think our adversaries will react to the strong possibility that Trump will be reelected? knowing that in six months they're going to get a strong man who won't let them play like Biden does. Will that mean that China will take Taiwan in the next six months? Will Putin crush Ukraine and take over more of it to get it done before Trump comes in and then do play nice with him? Will Hamas attack Israel again? Will Iran make a nuclear bomb? Today, Anthony Blinken, I've got the audio, says that Iran will have a nuclear bomb in a couple weeks. The materials for a nuclear bomb in a couple weeks. Welcome to Joe Biden's neighborhood. Welcome to what he did to us. All that next. Uh, your call, 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. How do you think our adversaries will react to the strong possibility that Trump will be elected in, uh, re-elected in six weeks or six months? And will China take Taiwan? Will Putin crush Ukraine? Are our enemies, our adversaries going to move in now since they only have six months? That's next. Chime in right now. 800-288-WBAP. Chris Crock Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. Oh, it's a sad night. Lots of people sending nice uh, word of praying and stuff for First Baptist Dallas. Four alarm fire, no injuries. Um, and uh, just pray for the firefighters. Pray that the damage will be uh, limited. Uh, I'm just worried about the uh, history that is uh, archive uh, documents and the historical documents we have under there, if they'll they'll be destroyed or not. And um, yeah, you got a church with... Uh, thousands and thousands of members and um you know i don't know if we're going to be able to go worship uh and uh, do our sunday school that we have on sunday mornings and and uh, worship in the main sanctuary we'll see dr robert jeffers though my pastor and the head of first baptist dallas says we're going to worship somewhere on sunday so welcome to life all right and you can make your plans but god will laugh at them right who knew it's very sad mm. All right, no cause either. So uh, don't, don't, don't. Uh, there's not going to be a cause for, the, you know what, <laughs> weeks, months. I don't know. So, okay. Um, what uh, What do you think about this? Uh, think about this, guys. Uh, we have today. I'll play Anthony Blinken today, uh, admitting that. Um, that in fact uh, the uh, I- Iranian uh, folks, the Iran, the Iranians will have uh, nuclear uh, bomb material within uh, a couple weeks. Uh, I got to scroll down. Something that was lost in translation on the audio request that I sent in. So it's uh, my bad. I'll I will pull it up here. Give me a second because everything I play is on Twitter mostly. So follow me on Twitter at Chris Crock Show. That's at Chris Crock Show. C H R I S K R O K. That's at Chris Crock Show. Also um, on Instagram at Chris Crock Show. It's all the same. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Chris Crock Show. C H R I S K R O K. Blinken says we're going to have a uh, Iran will have the nuclear materials to make a bomb in a few weeks. Gee, all of a sudden it's a few weeks, huh? Yeah, it sounds like you didn't have you had your head up your butt. So it sounds like to me. Um, so, man, it's uh, it's buried in my deep in my annals here. Um, I guess you just have to trust me. But Blinken said Iran is one to two weeks away at the Aspen uh, rich folk uh, gathering to telling to protecting our country uh, thing that was going on this week. Thanks, guys. He said on Friday, today Iran has reduced its nuclear breakout period, uh, the time to create sufficient fissile material for a nuclear weapon, one to two weeks. Joe Biden bring us closer to having a, a nuclear war. Here it is. I got it right here. Okay. How are you going to stop them? Well, there are, by far, the preferable way to do it would be through diplomacy. Um, where we are now is not in a good place. Uh, Iran, because uh, the nuclear agreement was uh, thrown out, Instead of being um, at least a year away from having the breakout capacity of producing fissile material for a nuclear weapon, is now probably one or two weeks away from doing that. Hey, some other things. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, meantime, we have um, Putin is being warned by us. Our government is saying, hey, Putin, we understand that because you're mad at us for Ukraine, which is what Joe Biden got us into Ukraine, it never would have happened with Trump, and he's right when he said that in his speech last night, 
um, because you're mad at us for giving Ukraine more weapons the other day, recently, you are now providing uh, serious, they're now con- contemplating sending serious, serious missiles uh, to the Houthis to attack Israel. Like serious ones that will destroy uh, these ships in the in the in the Red Sea because Joe Biden's not Joe Biden doesn't have a pair of balls. Let's just say it. And because of Joe Biden, nobody will go in the Red Sea anymore. We're not protected. Our allies aren't protected. The world commerce can't go through what it used to. And the Red Sea has to go around the Horn of Africa because Joe won't put a pair of balls on himself and kick the, the this third world click 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 terrorist butts that are funded and trained by Iran Iran the uh, Iranian IRCG the Iranian Republican Guard IRGC um and so we're now warning Russia hey we know you're going to send these intense missiles that are like take out so much and screw everybody over even more by these terrorist Houthis by the way the Houthis just attacked Israel they actually sent a drone that attacked and blew up in uh, in Israel all the way from Yemen which is if you look at a map it's not right next door to Israel. That's all Iran. So um, you better believe they're going to move in. And you better believe I think China's going to go into Taiwan because it's in now or never because they know Trump man is coming in. That's my belief. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227.